What's good, everybody? It's your boy, UTX The Prophecy, and I am bringing you guys more of an information type of video, um, talking to you about the Midas weapon, Midas, Midas, however you want to say it. For those of you that play Destiny, you guys know about the Midas multi-tool. So I've, I've tend to notice that any game that I've ever seen that has a Midas is OP. Uh, and this weapon does not sh uh, fly too far from its name. Um, it holds the Midas in good contention with the multi-tool. So... Let me explain what this weapon is. This weapon is a submachine gun, so Uzi. Uh, for some reason, it's gold. I think that's actually kind of flies, gold and black. But this weapon has 24.50% critical chance. So I'm gonna explain to you why this weapon is OP. I'm actually gonna explain to you why they patched this weapon day, uh, like day three. So what happened was the talented uh, perk, it's called Train. Critical hits increase signature skill resources by 4.60%. So what that means is whenever you use your L1, R1 ability, your specialist ability, your signature skill, normally it takes a while for it to come back. Well, every time you got a critical hit on here, you literally got it back in probably 10 clips. So you could get it back extremely fast. Because this weapon has natural crits and because it gets its resource back when you hit crits, it was just OP. They had to patch it. The other one is critical hits with this weapon heal the user for 3% of the damage dealt, as well as critical hit chances increased by 13% while at full health. Now, this weapon, top five, top three, most best, best, best game gun in this game, most OP, most, I don't know, but best gun in the game, top three, right? Um, it has. Now the fire rate and all that stuff is all based off of what you put it on. So as you see, mine does 111,000 damage, and it has a 57 mag. Um, I don't, I don't even think I can make it higher. I could probably make it a little higher if I wanted to, but this gun, it, it, it's just amazing. You get crits almost every shot you take. Um, also, what helps a lot with this weapon is making sure your critical itself is up. So as you see, I get. 55% um, critical hit chance as well as 57% um, additional damage dealt with critical hit. So it gives me more damage. So I'm going to run out here real quick because I'm in the dark zone for some unknown reason. Right out here solo and I got deranked earlier. I'll show y'all about that. But I'm in a 31, right? Um, there's a dude here with me. I should body him real quick. Oh, there's two dudes. I ain't going to body but I'm gonna try to show y'all what it's like to eat an enemy. How how fast you get through an enemy. I literally kill and like critical hits in like fifteen thousand to eighteen thousand to twenty five thousand. I think the highest crits usually for headshots are like forty nine thousand or fifty thousand. Okay, so there's a boss enemy over here, and I'm gonna try to run over here before the group of people kill them. All right, there he is. Short for you. All right. Again, this dude is 31. But as you see, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000, 20,000. And I'm literally by myself because I don't think these dudes are around me. Oh, no. They're there and there now. But the fact of the matter is you see the criticals I'm getting, and it's ridiculous. I'm getting crazy crits. This is why this weapon is really nice. I'm going to start doing more videos on weapons that are... OP and or nice that you should be on look for. Oh yeah, by the way, how I got this weapon? I got this weapon by doing exactly what I was doing just now. Farming name bosses in the dark zone. It's a random drop. I've gotten multiple of them. I got two of them now, but I've gotten multiple of them and I've in, ended up giving one of my boys one of them. So this weapon is farmable. It's just crazy luck, but I don't know. I've, I've been seeing it drop a lot more lately. And I'm also going to tell you guys in the next video how to increase your chances of getting yellow weapons. I hope you guys enjoy.